Good morning, guys. Today, hey, what is it? Is... Miss Southern Belle, Miss Southern Belle, what are you going to talk about today? Well, guys, I'm going to talk about a different thing. What kind of different thing? Talk to us. Okay, I will. You guys can be my little audience here, all my little duck friends. And I'm going to talk about different things. I'm going to talk about things that's helped me, like this tile thing that you can get off Amazon. They're not paying me for this. But it is a little square thing that can help you find your keys and your phone. I'm going to tell you, it's great to have, and it does different. You connect it to your iPhone, which you can't now because I'm on my iPhone. Oh! And then we're going to talk about a book called Pout Pout Fish. And I was going to read a little bit about it. That's cool! Okay, guys, now listen up. It's called the Pout Pout Fish Book. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lived a gloomy, gloomy swimmer with the ever presence of pouting. It was a powder. I'm a pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face. So I spread all the jury worries all over the place. Hmm. Blue, bluer. And blue. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl and of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish with a cross town frown, don't you think it's time to turn that, turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Mr. Clam. I heard what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread my jury worries all over the place. Blur, blur, and blur. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his testicles all trailing and gently in locomotion. And that's pretty funny. Hey, Mr. Fish with the daily scary scroll. I wish we wouldn't get greeted us with a grumpy and groan, says to the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I like to be more friendly, but it isn't in me. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout fist, so I spread the jury worries all over the place. Woo, woo, woo. So this book I got from uh, Amazon, and there's more to become. If you guys want to pick it up, it's pretty cool, and uh, I thought it was cute. And I, I, you know, when my mother, my mother was like, sometimes she'd be grumpy. You know, and she was 87 years old. I'd have the ladies read this book to them, and sometimes they get grumpy because she was grumpy, and they start laughing because, you know, it was a funny little book. Another thing I want to talk about is this product called Wet Ones. And they come, you know, I'll open it up. They come in little packages, and you can carry them in your pocketbook. And like when you go to the grocery store and you, they forget to put out their wet ones and you wipe off the the um, buggy and you can wipe your hands when you before you eat and they come in handy. And that's about what I was going to share today except I'm going to have a cup of coffee and I was going to tell you some experience when I went to the grocery store. I was walking through the grocery store and this lady, she was all in place. Her hair, she was perfectly everything. She, I look like somebody threw up an artistic paintbrush on me because I wear all these weird colors. I never match. Everybody in my family liked to match, so I just wanted to be different. I just want to be a mismatch. So I said, good morning. Do you know she didn't even acknowledge me? I looked her right in the eyes and I said, good, I said hello, good morning to you. She just walked by me like I was invisible. And I said, wow. <laughs> lady is I'm invisible
invisible. <laughs> Have you ever been the invisible person in the grocery store? That is a, wow. I said, man, this is a South. <laughs> Let's be a little bit kinder. So, <clears throat> um, then you, you, I don't know how the cashiers endure that. I mean, they have to be polite whether they want to or not. They say, good morning. I, I go to CVS and say, hello, good morning, welcome to CVS. And people just don't even care. They just, and I said, she's one of them. It's, she thinks you're invisible. <laughs> she just started laughing. <laughs> I mean, what's up with that? Anyway, I just thought it was strange. I mean, can you imagine having to be the person to say good morning to everybody because it's part of your job and nobody... So I thought, this is for you people. I call you the pout, pout fish <laughs> that don't even want to say good morning. <laughs> so just remember, when I read that book, say, there's a pout, pout fish for you. <laughs> and you can laugh about it. So, um, and then you get... The, the little workers, they're so sweet at Publix. They, there's this one guy, I just love him to death. He, he works with the cheese and the meats, and, you know, like the bacon and everything. I'll say, good morning. He'll say, well, good morning. How you doing today? And he's just full of energy. He's just as sweet as he can be. And he said, can I help you? And I'm like, no, but it was nice to meet somebody that's really that kind, you know just goes to the extreme and I'm thinking oh, that guy's just a really sweetheart and then there's some you say good morning to and they're like rah, 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 rah. why am I at this work ah, rah, rah. and then one time for a while there there was this guy at the um the hot foods you know where they serve chicken and vegetables he'd be like they're like rah, 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 rah. He, I said can I have a vegetable he's like rah, 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 rah. And then I just talked to him just as pleasant. I said, how are you day going? You know, you're looking good. You know, I like your hair. You know, anything to get a smile on. It took me almost two weeks to get that man to open up and be perky. I bet it was worth it because he's just like full of life and energy. I said, thank you, Jesus, for that one. <laughs> I got rid of that pout, pout fish one on him. <laughs> it was a tough row, but it worked. So if you see somebody, it's a pout, pout fish, and you, you say, oh man, who needs to be around that pout, pout fish? Just go on, push forward, and, and just try to make them smile. Just say, oh, your hair looks good. Just try to push them to smile. Stop that pout, pout fish right there, and just say something pleasant. Sometimes people don't want to do something extra for you, but just say, oh, thank you. I know it was hard for them to pick up and look that little number up for you. But you know, sometimes they just, they, that before they even got to the job, they might have had an accident on themselves or they spilt coffee on their shirt and they already had the bad day before they got, or their husband or their wife was mean to them as the kids said something really upset them. You don't know what happened that, that minute before they got to the work. And they brought it to the work, which wasn't a good idea. But, you know, some people do that. What they should do before you go to work is have like a little room that says, shake it off, all that negative energy. Shake it off, all that negative energy. Have a little piece of candy and a book called Pow Pow Fish Fish right there waiting for them. But, you know, that's just the way it is. So, because if you ever feel like you're having one of those days, you ever have one of them days when nothing is right till morning and night? You ever have one of them days? Shh, YouTubers. So, you know, you just have to shake it off. So you got to shake off that bad thing. You got to shake off all that bad stuff. And go out there and bring the sunshine out. <laughs> and when you shake it off and you see people like that, and you give them your sunshine, you can say, sunshine. I'm falling in your way, sunshine. I'm giving it to you today, sunshine. You can be so happy about that. You you made somebody smile. Even you little kids, you got a little friend that's like, mm you know, just go up there and say, you know, I, I like your little skirt or your, your pink tails are cute or you part of your hair different. That looks cool. You know, just that's okay. Or if somebody drops your, your, uh, a kid that you would never be friends with, drops a book, go pick it up and be nice and say, here, hon, you dropped your book. 
It's okay to be kind. It's okay to be kind to each other. So keep being kind and do good things to each other. And Miss Southern Belle, she says she's rambling on. And today, is, the word for today is, oh, I was, I've been using kind a lot. Well, I think we should keep on pushing the kindness and doing good for each other. Let's just keep on being kind and be doing good for each other and make people smile. You know, one time I went to a grocery store and I spelled words out like H-I and the lady had to think, hi. Yeah, there you go. I say spell <laughs> Have you ever went in a grocery store and spelled words just to see the reaction? It's really kind of cool. So, you know, Go out there and have a great day and enjoy your day. And don't let those pout pout fish get you down. I love you guys. And this is Miss Southern Belle says, When you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. But when you're frowning, you're all going to be alone and blue. So keep on smiling and let those smiles come through. Bye now.